Hey everyone, it is Wednesday, January 12th. The time right now is 12.51 p.m. And the temperature outside is a rather nice two degrees Celsius, or at least nice compared to the weather we've been having recently. And I am here at a station I don't visit very often. This is Main Street Station. And for this one, I'll be heading on out to Main Street. Which is the street right here. And there's a look to the north. And I'll be walking southbound Main Street to Kingston Road. And then from there, I'll head southwest along Kingston Road down to Queen Street. Or at least that's the plan for now. And this is Danforth Avenue coming up. And this neighborhood here is known as East Danforth. And to the east of here is Victoria Park Avenue. And that would signal the western boundary of the Scarborough Borough, or the former borough of Scarborough. There's a look west along Danforth. And this is walking south down the east side of Main Street. And there on the left are the main square apartments. I think this might be the tallest residential development along Danforth Avenue. And there's around 2,000 residences there, or people living there. It's probably less units than that. And I'm about to walk over a rail corridor. There's the Main Square Community Rec Center. And there's a fitness facility and a large pool there. Although I doubt either of those are open. There's a 506 Carlton bus. You'll notice there's streetcar tracks here. As the Carlton streetcar terminates at Main Station to the east. and High Park to the west. There's a 64 bus, and that one runs along Main Street.
And here is Danforth Go Station. There's a Via train whizzing through. So that'll be heading on over to Union Station. And in rolls a GO train. That's a suburban commuter rail. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anyone waiting on the platform for it. Although if you're heading from here to Union, it'd certainly be a lot cheaper to take the TTC. Probably about half the cost. There's a nice view of the skyline on the other side of this overpass here. Albeit it's a little bit obscured. That go train is slowly rolling out. I don't know if I'll be able to catch it. Oh well. Oh. <laughs> there it goes. My impatience got the better of me. And this is Norwood Terrace down below. And I don't know the age of these homes, but these ones look to be about 100 years or so, if not a little older. And the street coming up should be Upper Girard. And there's the Ted Reeve Community Arena. And that dates back to 1954. And Ted Reeve was a Canadian multi-sport athlete. And a two-time Grey Cup champion, that's the Canadian equivalent of the Super Bowl. I called it Upper Girard, but officially it's just Girard Street East. A 
although I think a lot of locals refer to it as Upper Girard. Girard gets severed at Coxwell Avenue. And there's a lower part to the west, and then a little bit north of Girard and Coxwell, this upper eastern stretch begins. Hence the term Upper Girard. Well, let's stay on this side. I walked on the east side the last time through here. I think that was about a year ago. There's a place called the Red Tape Brewery. And we have a library sighting. This area in general is known as the Upper Beaches. These look to be in a similar style to the ones we saw in Norwood Terrace. And the Upper Beaches is located just north of Gerard Street. Or rather, I think north of Kingston Road to Gerard Street and bordered by Victoria Park to the east and Coxwell to the west. All right, I'm gonna go back to the other side. There's some neat buildings to walk past. There's a community center and an old police station. That there is the Kimberly Junior Public School. So it looks like this building was built as part of the East Toronto Town Hall back in 1909. There's an old fire station right next to it. This was built a year later in 1910. There is Main Street Terrace. It's a long-term care facility. So that school I walked by will be swinging back into action next Monday. Much to the applause of parents all over the province. And the residents of that long-term care facility will be gearing up for their fourth shot. There's Calvary Baptist Church. We have some very light snowflakes falling from the sky right now.
Is it supposed to snow today? It says 15% chance. Oh, it's not so light now. It's more like a rain. Beaches family law. And it just let up again as soon as it started. So just to the south of here is Kingston Road, and I'll be turning right there and walking southeast, or rather southwest. I think it becomes Southwood Drive, just south of Kingston Road. And there is a Bell Communications facility. Corner office would do you no good in that building. Main Street Psychological Center. Psychological Center. <laughs> Psychological. Hey, I butchered it two to three times. That's not bad. And here we are at Kingston Road. Neighborhood Link Support Services. So you could take this to the east here, or rather northeast, and head into Scarborough. I'm looking for a sign, but there it is, Southwood Drive. So it does become Southwood to the south of here. Jameco doors and windows. Baby stroller with a bike lock? <laughs> I'm not sure I've seen that before. Well, at least there's no kid in it. So Kingston Road cuts diagonally across this part of town. To the south of here is known as the Beaches. And the area to the north is called the Upper Beaches. Although people from the south will tell you that's just a term coined by real estate agents trying to make the properties to the north of here a bit more attractive.
Well, there's the development notice up on that home. So yesterday I was out streaming and what was minus 16 with the wind chill. And today, this two degrees seems positively pleasant compared to that. And there's a rather steep slope down towards the lake from here. This stretch of Kingston Road has always felt kind of sleepy. It's more residential than anything. There's a few pockets of commercial activity. In the other direction, around the Scarborough Bluffs, there's an interesting strip of old motels. And there's a fair bit of commercial development out that way. Elevated elegance, the view. They got their rezoning approved. I don't really see anything wrong with intensifying along a somewhat major street. There's the atrium at Q Beach Retirement Home. And you'll see there's a ton of salt on the sidewalk. And I know that causes problems for some dog's paws. There's some neat Charlie Brown art. You can kind of see the skyline off in the distance. In a room full of art, I'd still stare at you. So there's an old cemetery coming up on the right, and I think this area was known as Little Norway at one point in time. Where it was originally the village of Norway. And that village was annexed into the city of Toronto in 1909. Hey, a streetcar sighting. I think this is the first one I've seen this trip. I think this will be the 503. Let's find out.
503 Kingston via Queen Street. And there are three people on that streetcar. <laughs> so that explains the low frequency. And I don't even think they run that one on weekends. I think this public school here is called Norway Public School. I was trying to see the sign. Oh, there it is. Norway Public School. So that would have been named after the former, ta former township that was here. Okay, and they seem to offer French immersion. seen any streetcars heading in the direction I'm walking. Maybe I'll pull up my app here and see what the frequency is like. Let's see here. There's a 503 East coming in nine minutes. And then 11 minutes after that. And then seven minutes after that. And then 17 minutes after that, so it's not that infrequent. Dentistry in the beach. The beach is what some people call the neighborhood to the south of here. But the official city of Toronto name is the beaches. Although the BIA name is The Beach. Put me squarely in the camp that says The Beaches. And the eastbound, westbound Gardner off-ramp to Lakeshore has been closed permanently. More like completely dismantled. What is this guy doing? He's running after that car in the intersection. Oh, he's running up to this white van. I think he's just asking for change, probably. And this is Woodbine Avenue. Oh, let's go on the south side. Walked on the north side last time through here. There's a big cemetery across the street. And that is St. John's, Norway. Cemetery. It's also a crematorium. There's a sign there saying, Yes, we have lots available. I'm assuming that means plots. 
I was recently watching a video on the City Beautiful channel about relocating cemeteries located within cities. It's kind of a fascinating topic. As some of the older ones that have filled up don't have much in the way of active remaining descendants anymore. So in order to relocate them and get all the permission from the family it is quite an expense. It's definitely not a sustainable practice burying dead in the middle of a major city. And there's the entrance. And here's a karate kickboxing gym. But let's go take a closer look here. And this has been here since 1853. There goes the 503. So I think my app was incorrect. And that'll be turning right at Queen Street. And I think what happens is Kingston Road ends just south of Queen Street and then it veers to the right and it starts Eastern Avenue, if I'm not mistaken. And that'll run along through the studio district and right into downtown. So I think this one is combining two prior walks that I've recorded. I did one down Main Street. And I remember that one, there's a training car. I stopped at the foot of the Glen Stewart Ravine and then I recorded another walk south through the Glen Stewart Ravine. And perhaps that's one I'll have to revisit this season. And then I did another one that started more east of where this one did on Kingston Road and it followed the same path down to Queen. There's another 503 Kingston streetcar. Probably be making its way over to Victoria Park. There's a turnaround loop at Kingston Road in Victoria Park. Tompkins Muse. You know what? I'm quite hungry and I haven't eaten lunch yet. I 
and unfortunately I'm not allowed to eat inside. That's a big no-no, but I'll see if I can pick something up and just eat it outside and then hop on a streetcar. And here is Dundas Street East. It's a private residence. It looks like be a good spot to have a dive bar or something along those lines. And here's an old school gas bar. Although it doesn't look like these pumps are still in operation. Maybe there's an enormous cost to dig those out. You have to do an environmental assessment. That's why redeveloping on an old gas station is such a pain in the butt. Maestro Omar Gourmet Pizza. And Mocha Mocha. There's an employee in there <laughs> sitting at a table eating her lunch. That's allowed. Good for her. And straight ahead, I think, is where the old Greenwood racetrack used to be. That was the most urban horse race track in North America. But that was closed down. It was a harness racetrack. And they moved the harness track itself over to Woodbine. And we are almost at Queen Street East. Hooray! There's a country style. That doesn't exactly tickle my fancy. Place called Veggie Thai. And here's Murphy's Law Pub. They've got a pretty good sized rooftop space there. I wonder if we'll see that in use. Toronto Golf Club, founded in 1876. And here comes the streetcar. I don't think I'll be able to hop on that one. Let's see, is it gonna stop? Nope.
Yep. But I don't really feel like sprinting at it. All right, I'm gonna just figure out some lunch. So I hope you enjoyed this walk from Main Street Station, heading south down Main Street. Ooh, Kingston Road. <laughs> it took me a second there to think of the street name. Oh, here comes another streetcar turning around a loop. That is not in service. And finishing up here in the Beaches neighborhood at Kingston Road and Queen Street East. If you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. There's also a link to PayPal. And I have an Instagram account and a merchandise store at stridespike.com. All right, thank you for watching. Stay warm, stay safe, and I will catch you on the next one.